Hi and welcome back to Bandy's Jukebox and if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Do us a favour, make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you get notified every time we upload a video. And if you're a regular to the Jukebox, welcome back. Uh, yesterday was a pretty full on day, wasn't it? We were out visiting Father mm. Christmas and um, we'll put a link in the description below. If you've not seen that, go and see Charlie visiting Father Christmas for the first time. It was uh, so, so cool. Um, but what we're doing today is we are showing you how we, we like to celebrate Christmas um, with a little festive treat. It's a little tradition we have, isn't it? We, it, we, do. we don't have many traditions <laughs> in our family, um, but we are starting a few. We started this one last year, didn't we? We did. What is it? <laughs> Before we go any further. It is... Um, a twist on Jamie Oliver's epic hot chocolate recipe. So we made this last year with some of his ingredients, but we changed out a few things. And we did. Made things of our own. But we've had this a year in an airtight container, so it's lasted a long it's lasted time. Quite a bit. And it still smells pretty good. It smells amazing. Smell that. Oh yeah. So um. Yeah, we decided that maybe it was time to make a brand new one. So, shall we go through the ingredients and what you may or may not need? We shall. You will need two tablespoons of corn flour, three tablespoons of icing sugar, four tablespoons of cocoa powder of your choice. I can't wait to open this one. You will also need some ground cinnamon if you want to add a little bit of flavour. You will also need grated chocolate. Any chocolate bar will do for this. In Jamie Oliver's recipe it states dark chocolate but we're not a big fan of dark chocolate so we've gone with our favourite cookies and cream. So first goes in two tablespoons of the corn flour. You don't have to be perfect about it either, you can just... And then the next ingredient that goes in again is two tablespoons of the icing sugar. Three. Oh sorry, three. This is why I'm not making it. So we're just going to add in the, uh, the hot chocolate. Don't forget we've gone for the peanut butter hot chocolate. Oh my god! Smell that. That smells just like Reese's Pieces. Oh it does, I'm trying to think what it smells like. It's Reese's Pieces. <sighs> right, how much of this are we putting in? Four tablespoons. Okay. Wow. See, that's the good thing about this recipe. You don't really have to be exact because obviously the more hot chocolate powder you put in is going to make the taste more intense or less intense. Put a little bit more. Let's put a bit more in. Why not? Right, so that's in there now. So, just so you know, this was a... 260 gram jar and we've still got That's just a over half left so you can just use that for other things it does say you can use it for baking really maybe some peanut butter brownies yes yes do it okay okay the next thing that's gonna go in is the cinnamon now i absolutely love cinnamon i could have cinnamon in absolutely everything and Bex is not a massive fan of it, so we're not going to put too much of this in. When you've actually made the hot chocolate, though, you're able to add, add extra if you want. So you could even leave this bit out. Right, well, I'm going to put... I'll do. There you go. Is that okay for you? Is that okay? Or do you want to make two batches, one with cinnamon and one without cinnamon in? 
That's the idea. Right, well, this can be the one we're swimming. Let's stick a bit more in. Love, 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 love. Right. Okay. Give it a stir. Give it a stir. Right, so in here, don't forget, we've got two teaspoons, uh, tablespoons of corn flour, two, no, it's three of the ice and sugar, and we've got four of the peanut butter, and then a good dollop of the cinnamon. Oh, that smells amazing! Ooh, that's your mother. Hello! Hello, you're Hello, okay? say hello to Baddy's Jukebox, you're live! Hello, Baddy's Jukebox! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next bit is to uh, grate up this chocolate, which is also going to go in there. Don't forget you can use any chocolate. We're using um, Asda's white chocolate with cookies and cream. Right, so that's all the chocolate grated up and uh, put into the jar. Um, just while we were doing that, we also made a second batch for Bex without the uh, the cinnamon in it. And the great thing is, we've got the rest of the chocolate bar to eat later on tonight. Excellent. Right, so that is all ready to rock and roll, isn't it? Yes. All we need to do now is uh, heat up a saucepan of um, milk. I was going to say a saucepan of pan, saucepan of milk, and um, add. How many is this to this? How many do we add? Is it one or two? It's just however, it just however, however, however you however like you, it. However you like it. So we're going to go and get the milk sorted out and then we'll show you what it tastes like. Right, so just while Bex is stirring that, she's going to have it in her brand new Christmas elf mug. And I'm going to have mine in my fine and dory mug. It's not very Christmassy, but I love that mug. So you see how thick that has gone now that it's all melted into the milk and it's all melted. I can't wait to try it. Right, so we just left you making that uh, hot chocolate. Um, we made a couple of batches, made one with cinnamon in for me, and we just made your plain one, didn't we? Um, how was it? Oh, you alright? Oh, you've lost a nail. Mm. Mm. Oh, well. Anyway, how I'll was your I'll get Lisa at Exceptional to do it for me. Yes, go and make sure you check them out. We'll put a link in the description below to their Facebook page. How's your hot chocolate? It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, if you've uh, if you've made it, put a comment below and let us know how you got on. Anyway, we thought that it'd be rather good fun to have a go at doing uh, Mr. and Mrs. So we've got our paddles ready. Here is me. There is you. And we're going to go through some uh, some of the questions that we've got on here. So shall we? Uh, shall we just jump into it? Yes. Okay. So um, who is the messiest? Yeah. Admittedly. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. I just, I do like things when they're tidy. I just, I couldn't think. I can't help making a mess. Um, who is the best singer? Why me? I'm not a good singer. You are the best oh, singer. Oh, so modest. <laughs> um, who is the funniest? <laughs> I'm a hoot. <laughs> oh my. You're pretty funny with that. Um, who is the best cook? I say you're the better cook. I like it when you cook. I must admit, I am a good cook. And then you steal my recipes. Well, that's only because the recipes that you give me are that good and then I like to adapt them. And then them. you adapt them and make them slightly better, which makes me feel inadequate. But you're a very good cook. <laughs> um, who is the most laid back? You are really chilled out. I tend to fly off the handle of things. I can't help it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we're having this. <laughs> Who breaks wind the most? <laughs> I can't believe I'm having that. Okay, let's throw some Christmas ones in. Um, who is the most OCD about Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> when we're doing the tree. Flipping out is you missed a bit, you missed a bit, you missed a bit. That lights aren't right, or mm, that needs re re wrapping so again. not that bad. Um, who sorts out the Christmas presents? Is this in terms of like family and things? As like in and... everybody, apart from you, yours to me, and obviously, apart from Santa, I do. Help. I am the one who helps Santa. All right, then, I'm um, staying with the Christmas theme. Then, who writes the Christmas cards? I don't like doing it. She's got better handwriting than I have. She I should have been a doctor. Every time, but we've got about fifty cards to write. 
and I've literally got tonight to do them. Make sure you check out uh, Vlogmas Day 1, I think it was it day one or day two, I think it was, for uh, two, I think. seeing how we got on with the Christmas card shop. Uh, okay, um, who has the best taste in clothes? Oh. Who is the most stubborn? <laughs> I'm not stubborn. You are. I'm not, you are. See? <laughs> Point proven. Uh, who is the most romantic? Kid. No dog can <laughs> <laughs> um, Who has the worst memory? I'm always forgetting things, admittedly. I can't help it. I've got too much going on upstairs. Um, who is the grumpiest? Enough said. Um, who gets more excited about Christmas? Just like a kid, honestly. It's brilliant. Hello. <laughs> um, who is the most traditional? Is this in Christmas or in general? This is Christmas wise, as in who likes traditions. Oh. Who is the cleverest? <laughs> Can't believe I'm admitting that. Who has the best sense of direction? I only need to go somewhere once and that's it. I can generally go there again with very, very little help. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, where's the party that you've got to go to on Wednesday? Which party? <laughs> Is it Freckleton? Is it... No. Oh, that party. That's down at back of the airport. Moving on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who can drink the most? That's everything, isn't it? That's including soft pop. Soft pop? Soft pop. Soft pop. Who is the fittest? In what terms? As in? As in physically fit or fit. as in your you're fit? You're fit. Or something as in your fit. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> Who has had the most partners, girlfriends, I crossed that boyfriends? one out. No, you didn't. We're having it. Now. <laughs> anyway, who's had the most? <laughs> I crossed that one out because you don't want to know. <laughs> Who snores the loudest? And not only snores, he's got the most annoying habit when he's asleep. Well, funny enough, that's the next question. Who has the worst habits? <laughs> and now I can tell them. Have you, ladies or gents, ever had a partner who ticks or twitches and clicks during their sleep? Because this one does, and the other night he ticked and clicked so bad, he scared me. I jumped out of bed and woke him up. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, who is the most talkative? <laughs> this is making me have to be really bad. Who gets scared the easiest? I can't help it, she scares me, she just does. He's jumping like jumping. Who is the laziest? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay then, um, who drives the most? And the final question is, who is the best driver? <laughs> I don't know. You are pretty good, to be honest, but you you do have quite bad road rage. I can't help it. You just really I get road rage road when rage. I get road rage when I'm walking. Them, I'm driving. Oh, walking! Yes. Anyway, that concludes our Mr. and Mrs. If you want us to see us do this, he if us you do, want us to see if us, you want us, us we see, can see us. If you want to see us do this again, uh, drop us a comment below in the, the comment. Oh, I can't speak the comment section. And if you can think of any questions which you'd like us to answer on the Mr and Mrs also put them down below as well mm. and I think that is it for tonight we've isn't got it? Dave from Mooch TV hopefully this week at we some have. point doing a video with us yeah so we're gonna have to 
we've come up with something different with something with we'll um we'll put a link to his channel as well down below and uh, don't forget to be checking in with us for the rest of vlogmas throughout december um later on in the month we are taking you <laughs> <laughs> later <laughs> we're taking you on our trip down south for christmas so make sure you check out what we're uh, going to be getting up to in the next few weeks oh, i can't wait i know it's going to be so so wait. good but for now though bandy, bandy out, out. <laughs>